So in this video I'm going to show you how to go from a clear disc to a cool disc with a hole in it. And you do this in four easy steps. First you add the vinyl where you want the hole. Then you hot dip it in whatever color you want. I want black. And then you remove the vinyl. And then you remove the stamp where the vinyl was. So we get a hole in there. So here I am with my clear disc. Uh, so we need a design because we want to have a hole in it. So I draw this up. And then I added it to Silhouette Studio. So I can use my my cameo here to cut the design. And that's how fast it is. So now I have a hole here. I don't know if you can see. Uh, so let's do the next step then. Okay, so I have my clear disc and I have my vinyl here. So now let's put this on this. And the first step you want to take is remove everything that is supposed to be black. And in this case it's easy. I want the whole disc to be black except for where I want the hole. So just remove everything that is not the hole. Of course I could take this off as a sticker and just put it on the disc. But that is not going to be so nice because the lines is not going to be so good. So instead I want to take my masking tape and tape over this so I can remove it from, uh, from the backing. And then I can then I can place it on the disc. So let's try this. And now I just take a credit card and then just make sure it sticks here. Okay, and now just try to slowly remove the backing of this. Like so. And now I can just place the disc over this. I think something like that is going to look kind of cool. Maybe there, I don't know. Uh, let's go. So I just have it here and now I'm just going to go over with the credit card one more time so it really sticks. And now I can just slowly remove the tape. Like that, now I have it. So if I dye this, everything is going to be black instead of this. So it's going to be kind of hard to remove the, remove the stamp here because it's super thin. I don't really know how to do that right now, but it's going to be fine. So now we're going to do this black with hot dip. Uh, so let's go into the garage and do that next. Now it's time for the dyeing, but before that we're going to seal all the edges, so let me show you that. So 
we have the, the disc here. And then we're going to heat up some water in this. And then we're going to use the credit card to push down on all the edges so it doesn't get any bleed at all. Then we're going to do yeah, the same thing but with eye dye black for the whole disc. So let's go. Now we have some regular water here. So we know we're going to heat it up. So we want it to be hot but not boiling. So I don't know how much you can see but it's starting to like yeah, be kind of hot. So I'm just going to place the disc for 45 seconds and then we are going to push all the edges down. Okay, so now it's been like 45 seconds to a minute. Then we're just going to lift this up. We're going to press it down here. And then we're going to seal the edges. And with that I mean use the credit card where all the edges are so you don't get any bleeds. Something like that. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I kind of can see it. Where the, the stamp is, oh yeah, you can see here, so we get all the greases in there. So now it's done, it's stuck there, really hard. Uh, so the next step is to add some color in this. And I have glass containers with yeah, black eye dye and water. So I have two of those. So I put this in. If I need more water, I can just add more water and then heat it up again. And it's the same thing here. You want it hot, but not boiling. So when the steam is starting to come up, you can just place the disc and uh, remove the heat. And guys, please be careful. Don't do this in your kitchen. That's why I have this and I'm in my garage. That's just the dice is going to stain everything. Please do not destroy your own kitchens, okay? Okay, so we can see the steam is coming. So it's time to place the disc. Uh, and we're going to check the disc every... Uh, yeah, let's go with 15 minutes. So I'm going to t keep this... Uh, keep this temperature and then we're just going to check the disc uh, every 15 minutes. And I'm going to place it very slowly on an angle. Because we don't want any bubbles here. Looks good. And that's really nice when you have a clear disc you can see everything so as you can see it's starting to get darker but not black yet so let's do another 15 minutes and the good thing here, if you do it in steps, like 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something like that, you don't get any air bubbles as well. So you can see you have air bubbles here, but when we place it again, we're not going to have that. So let's go for another 15 minutes. Like that, it's starting to get some black, uh, but I think it needs a little bit more. So I'm just going to place it for like yeah, 10 minutes more maybe. Then I, I think we're not getting any darker than that.
Well, I don't know if you can see, but that's that's black to me. So maybe we should do something with these edges here. And then we're going to remove this. But this is the hardest part with the whole dyeing thing. Now I suggest, you don't need to, but I suggest you leave this for a whole day now. So 24 hours, just leave it, so don't do anything. Because if you start to do something with it now, maybe we can have some, some like splotches or something like that. So just leave it and don't, don't use it for 24 hours. Come back and do the rest. Okay, welcome back. So the black is looking solid, looking really good. Uh, since it's a powder, we didn't get any color here, of course. Uh, so I will just fix that and that is not a part in this tutorial so I will do that kind of fast and then we can continue with the tutorial. Okay, so the vinyl is successfully gone, so I don't know how much you can see here, uh, but now I just need to remove the stamp where it's supposed to be a hole, and then we're done. And I do that by simply taking some acetone and some Q-tips, and then I really carefully do everything. And it's done. So it looks pitch black here. And I have a hole in it. If I look up like this, we can see the hole better. And I also added some colors here to the back. So I'm really happy with this.